welcome to VNN Canada. I'm Navedna Prabhu bringing you today's top stories. Third Ontario coronavirus patient is no longer infectious. Lashkare Toiba founder Hafiz Zayed sent to jail for five years. Ontario considers cannabis lounges cafes as part of future open market. Bollywood actress Isha Diol debuts as an author with Amma Mia. The third confirmed case of coronavirus in Ontario has been resolved. According to Dr. David Williams, Chief Medical Officer of Health, the individual is no longer infectious with the virus. On January 31st, we reported a confirmed case located in London, Ontario. Additional testing has been conducted by both the Public Health Ontario Laboratory and the National Microbiology Lab in Winnipeg, said Dr. Williams. The case has had two negative tests at at least 24 hours apart and is therefore considered to be resolved. This means the individual is no longer infectious with the 2019 novel coronavirus. The third Ontario patient was a female in her 20s in London, according to health officials. She's the first case to be officially resolved by the province. There are currently 19 cases under investigation in Ontario as of February 11th. Just ahead of the FATF review, founder and patron of the banned terror outfit Lashkare Toiba, Hafi Sayed, was convicted in terror funding cases and sent to jail for five and a half years by Pakistan. Sources in Pakistan said the mastermind of Mumbai terror attacks was sentenced to five and a half years and imposed a fine of rupees 15,000 in each of the two cases related to terror funding. However, the jail terms in both cases will run concurrently, the Lahore Anti-Terrorism Court said. The sentence was announced in front of Saeed in the courtroom by Judge Arshad Hussain Bhatta. Banned by the United Nations Security Council of the 2008 Mumbai terror attacks, Saeed faces 23 cases in Pakistan alone. Pakistan filed charges against him only after Financial Action Task Force, FATF, a global watchdog for terror funding and money laundering, put the country under grey list. The grey and black listing at FATF has serious consequences for Pakistan's international trade and investment. Premier Doug Ford's government said it is considering allowing cannabis lounges and cafes as it moves toward an open market for pot in the province and is asking the public to weigh in on the proposal. The government said it will consult on the possibility of so-called consumption venues as well as special occasion permits that would apply to outdoor festivals and concerts. The progressive conservative government has said its ultimate goal is to open a cannabis market but a supply shortage forced it to start with the limited lottery system for retail licenses shortly after marijuana was legalized in 2018. The Alcohol and Gaming Commissions of Ontario said it has received more than 700 applications for retail operator licenses since the system was scrapped on January 1st. Ontario's previous Liberal government was exploring the idea of cannabis consumption lounges in 2018, announcing consultations just months before it was defeated in the most recent provincial election. Now, what is happening in the world of sports? Well, Canadian bowler Akhil Kumar has been honoured for his performance at the ICC Under-19 Cricket World Cup. The 18-year-old from Toronto was named 12th man in the team of the tournament. Kumar took 16 wickets at an average of 15.37, finishing with figures of 6 wickets at the expense of 46 runs in Canada's plate playoff victory over Japan. The Canadians finished 13th in the 16-country tournament won by Bangladesh. The All-Star team featured three players from Bangladesh and runner-up India, two from Afghanistan and the West Indies and one from Sri Lanka. The All-Stars were selected by a five-person panel with four from the media and one from the International Cricket Council, better known as the ICC. The world of entertainment, well, looks like there's a new trend in Bollywood and it does not have anything to do with stars promoting their movies 
for once. Actors now have started to pen down their thoughts and quite literally we must say. If you're wondering what we're talking about, well, Twinkle Khanna started the trend of writing books and the latest actress to join the bandwagon is Isha Diol. The original Doom Girl has penned her parenting experiences in a book titled Amma Mia. Isha took to Twitter to share the news. Hashtag Amma Mia is a book from one mother to another, packed with stories, advice and recipes for toddler. This is my personal journey of transformation into a mother and I hope it acts as a best friend for all new me mommies out there, she wrote. The foreword of the book has been written by veteran actress Jaya Bachchan. Now, Isha married businessman Bharat Taktani in 2012. They have two daughters, Radhya and Miraya. The actress was last seen in the movie Cakewalk. Well, we guess mum's the word and we wonder what all the other Bollywood mums have to say about the new book. On that note, we thank you for tuning in. We will see you tomorrow.